Hi Cougars, Mrs. Fonte, your principal here to show you this awesome resource called tutor.com. Now I know lots of Cougars have trouble where they struggle with bringing this math paper home and not knowing what to do. In fact, in this fifth grade math paper, it asks for the shortened expanded notation method of multiplication. Maybe you don't know how to do that. You can't remember what your teacher said and your mom looks at it and goes, I don't know how to do that new math. So we have this awesome resource to show you called tutor.com. And the way that you're gonna to get to tutor.com is first, I would go to Utica Community Schools. And it can be a little tricky to get there, so this video is gonna be enormously helpful. Once you get to Utica Community Schools, we're gonna scroll down on the website and you're gonna find this awesome place called the Success Toolkit. We're gonna to click on the Success Toolkit and then we're gonna click again to the link that will take us directly to the virtual library card. Now you get your virtual library card from your media center teacher. She gave it to you on a little piece of paper, but you can also go to your public library and get a library card. So when you, once you get to this page on the virtual library card, you're gonna notice a place where you can download audiobooks. We'll do that on a future video. Or here where you can actually access tutor.com. Notice there's two links, but this one's only for Beck and Ebling, so let's click on this link. That's for our school. So now we're going to put in our UCS barcode. Let's see if mine will pop up. No. So I enter my number. Oh, and then I enter my passcode. Okay, and then I would hit get a tutor. So when we hit get a tutor, notice first that the live help is only available for four o'clock in after school until 11 o'clock, but tutor.com is open every single day of the year. I even tried it on Easter once with my son and it worked. So our topic today is math, and we're gonna say that this is actually just basic math. We're gonna select fifth grade. We're gonna put in our school zip code. And then we're going to choose Schwarzkopf. Okay, there's lots of Utica schools, but we want to make sure that we pick Schwarzkopf because this is a school that's going to help us. Now, this little box is really important. We're going to click Voice Chat because we want a tutor that's going to come online and talk to us. And then we're just going to say, I need help with my son's homework. Now, I'm going to tell you, I just did a couple of sessions to make sure that this was working and what I found is the first tutor that I got, it didn't work because her microphone wasn't working. So she had to transfer me to another tutor. So don't be discouraged Cougars, if you get online and you try to get that first tutor and they're not working, you can just say, I need you to transfer me to another tutor. Also, it's important that the microphone inside your computer is working and we used for this one Firefox and it seemed to work just fine. And then I would just hit this button, connect now. And now I'm going to show you what actually happens when you do this and a tutor comes online and how they can explain to your mom or to you how to complete a math problem. Plus, 
Thanks for switching colors. I really like that. Yeah, I'm a big color person. Um, and then lastly is um, going to be eight times nine. And then we're going to do all of those multiplications and then add them down. Oh, I think I can do that. So I, I think what they're trying to get, uh, uh, you know, it looks intimidating to do 30 times 50, but you know you can really just do three times five and then add the two zeros to the end of that result, right? Right. So 30, 30 times 50, that would be 15 and add the two zeros. Okay. Then for the 30 times nine, we know we have three times nine is 27 and then add one zero onto the end of that. Okay. Then eight times 50 should be eight times five is 40 and add one zero onto the end of that. Okay. And the eight times nine is 72 and put that there. Then if we add all of those down, mm -hmm. just be careful because I didn't cut right that one off myself, but 1,500 plus 70 plus 400 plus 72 should give us 2242 and 38 times 59 is 2242. Yep. Oh, okay, so nice. I, I think, and I kind of like the way that this example wrote the two uh, next to each other kind of in parentheses and then used the looping arrows to kind of connect. Um, the numbers that you are multiplying by. Uh, I see a couple of other examples that maybe do something in like a box chart, um, like maybe having the 30 and the 8 up here and the 50 and the 9 down here, and then maybe you do these two and these two and these two. Anyway. Oh, but, I got it. Uh, I so, so I can talk to my son a little bit about that. Okay. And I just, think with basically they're trying to get you to go go with what are what is thirty eight made up of, and thirty eight is made up of a thirty and an eight, and then the fifty nine is made up of a fifty and a nine, and by taking those numbers in their place value, uh, multiplying them separately, it, I think it makes the multiplication a little bit simpler for younger kids. Perfect. Well, Erin, thank you. That is all I needed for tonight was just help with that, that first one, and I think we're going to be great. Okay, good. Good luck to you. Thanks so much, Erin. Thanks. Bye-bye.